I have previously talked about a useful tool that you can use to create a landing page that allows you to link to many other places. Cool, right? Except when it doesn't work. Yesterday, I found out that my link tree was not working from Instagram. Why? Instagram was blocking it. They considered it spam. We're gonna take a live field trip. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shift gears, shifting gears for a minute. I get really excited about this stuff. I love it. I love websites so much, it's so exciting. And tools and technology and helping you. I'm passionate about helping you and your business. Okay, so yesterday I had an interesting experience. I have previously talked about a useful tool that you can use to create a landing page that allows you to link to many other places. Let's go online and I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. Do, 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 where's my slides? Here's my browser. Here we go. Here we are at the Ask a Web Geek website at askawebgeek.com. Please click this green button to join our Facebook group and click this blue button to subscribe to YouTube, askawebgeek.com. Okay, so previously I talked about a really cool tool called Linktree. Let me show you what it looks like. Linktree. So I have a page on Linktree, Link link tree link to uh, e dot gilbert slash gilbert studios it's a dot ee -E. so you know craziness anyway it allows you to create a single page with multiple buttons on it now the purpose of this is for a site like instagram where you only have one link on your profile and if you've ever noticed if you put a link inside the posts your instagram posts they do not turn into links interesting right so what was recommended and what I was recommending is that you create a link tree page like this one and then you can take that one link and make that your profile link and then anytime you reference something in a post you can just say link in profile and then they can go to your profile which is easy for them to click on and then they can click the one active link in your profile and then it would take them to this page and then they can choose the other thing they want to go and see. Cool right? Except when it doesn't work. Yesterday, I found out that my link tree was not working from Instagram. Why? Instagram was blocking it. They considered it spam. Maybe people are doing this and they're abusing the system. Maybe they're abusing Instagram and creating junk profiles and linking off to these other trash websites. So because of that, Instagram at their discretion can block your link anytime they want to. And they don't tell you about it. And isn't that frustrating? So yesterday I discovered Instagram was not allowing anybody to click on my link. Or if you did click on my link, you just got an error message, an Instagram error message that said it's not working. And no one told me, I discovered it totally on my own. And I'm like, oh no, what are we gonna do? Well, guess what? We came up with a really great solution. So now, now if you go to my Instagram profile, bup, 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 you're gonna see I have a new link in that area. gilbertstudios.com slash quicklinks. Oh yes, I have created on my own website a single page that I can use for my multiple quick links. So that's what I did. This is what I built yesterday. This is a new page on my website with my buttons. So now I'm no longer linking to Linktree and I'm no longer gonna recommend that other people do too because I didn't know that this was a thing. I didn't know Instagram was gonna block it. I didn't know people were abusing it. But there's so many benefits to this because now it's a link back to your website. Yay, that's what we want. It's a legitimate backlink from a social media site and we're sending them to a specific place where they can get information. For a little while, I was just putting gilbertstudios.com, but that's not enough because I'm sharing a particular resource with you or I want you to go somewhere. I'm telling you, go to my blog or go to my video course or you know check out this video. My friend Corey just finished remodeling a house and I want you to see that video. I don't have that anywhere on my website, but now I do because I've got this button. Now, I realize this page doesn't look great on desktop, but it really wasn't meant to be desktop. Let me show you, let me show you what it looks like on mobile because that's really the point. It's really a mobile page. So let it recalculate itself here for a second. 
Let me go full screen so you can see it. Where's my full screen? Here it is. So here's what it looks like on mobile. Looks really great on mobile, right? So I've got all my links there. You can click here to go to my most recent blog article, the one I was just talking about. Or you can click here to look at the video of Corey's house that he just finished. Ask a web geek, yada yada, my free tools. So these are all stuff that I post about. And now I can continue to say link in profile and I've got all my buttons right there. And I had already built my website with all my social media links for a mobile view, so it's right there. And if they want to continue on to look at the rest of my website, they sure can too. So here's my solution to that. I replaced Linktree with my very own created quick links page on my website, and I recommend that you do that too. Why? because your website is the only thing you can fully own and control on the internet. Look what happened. I was using this other service. They cut it off. Instagram said you can't use it. Linktree said, Meh. so what did I do? I went back to my website. The only thing I can fully own and control on the internet. Have my new quick links page set up. And then I went to all my other social media profiles and changed my link to this page. So that's the solution I came up with and I'm darn happy with it. So if you need a solution like that, just let me know. Linktree was a cool tool. I really liked the idea, but not if Instagram blocks it. I mean, that totally eliminates the point of it, right? So anyway, that's what I wanted to share with you today. Uh, we've innovated. We've adapted. We adapted to our surroundings, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. What's left in our show for you today? Any other, uh, I invite your final comments, questions. What questions do you have, community, Facebook community, YouTube community, podcast community? What questions do you have for the web geek and the whole community? We're here. We invite you to ask any questions you have on websites, technology, social media, email campaigns. If there's a tool or a technology online that we can use to help your business, ask me about it. We'll figure it out. We'll get it going. So we invite you to join our Facebook group, Ask a Web Geek. You're welcome to post your questions directly into the group. The whole reason I created it as a group is so that you could go in there and post your own questions directly. I'll address it in an upcoming show, and I'm excited to see what our community does because they're going to jump on and they're going to start answering your question, and they have even more links and resources than I do. So all together, we're going to make sure to get your question answered. So whatever Whatever your question is, come on over, ask a web geek, come on into our Facebook group and ask that question. And we can't wait to hear what we can help you with. My name is CJ Gilbert. I'm your web safari guide. And I'm here to remind you that the internet is a jungle. It's so easy to get lost, go down the wrong path, find yourself in a trap, the quicksand and lost and you don't know where to go. Instead, you want to join up with a tribe of people, hire a well-trained guide who can lead you through and get you where you want to go. I invite you to have a wonderful week. Have an amazing website Wednesday. Let us know how we can support you in the next week. And remember, we're here to help you. The internet's a jungle. Let us be your guide. Have a good one. God bless. Woo, good stuff, right? So I have a page on Linktree, link, Linktree, link to, uh, e dot Gilbert slash Gilbert Studios. It's a dot E E. So, you know, craziness. Anyway, we understand the internet is a jungle. See you next time. Adapt. Adopt, adapt, and improve.